And welcome to the offseason with the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. Um, you know, not the ending we wanted. It really wasn't last season. We lose 49 to 54 to the Baltimore Ravens. Back to back years where we lose in the Super Bowl to Baltimore. If you missed 2024, well, yes, we lost 38 to 44 in the Super Bowl to them as well. Lamar Jackson wins MVP in back to back years. The Ravens get their third and fourth Super Bowls in franchise history. It just. Our defense just let us down again. Yep. Tell me where you heard that story before. Um, we've got to fix things this offseason. I don't know how we're going to do it. Um, we've got a press conference to attend to, so we'll do that real quick. But then we got to just look over our team, address the retirements that if we have, well, I'll tell you who we have. It's Joe Flacco. That's it. I've already looked through it. Um, hey, everybody. We're going to do the press conference. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for some more Saints franchise mode here on the channel. What is your plan for the upcoming offseason? Well, we just got to get better. Make a splash? Uh, yeah, we got to make another splash. We said that last year, any specific position that you want to improve in, just overall talent. I want to get better. So I believe we're just going to have offense or defense. Defense. Our defense is horrible. Um, well, can't promise anything. I'm not confident. Yep. If that's how you want to take it. Morale dropped by five. We just made the Super Bowl. Well, no, they should. The morale should be down. You lost the Super Bowl. You failed us. Anyways, okay. Let's look at what we got in terms of our stats. Obviously, went over this a little bit, but Spencer Rattler, again, had a crazy season throwing the football. The turnover numbers need to be down in his second year as a starting quarterback of the Saints team, but he is the starter. Now, Will Levis, we should trade. He's not going to start, and he's, I think, a starting caliber guy in the NFL. We should be able to get some trade value out of Will Levis. I am going to look to trade him this offseason. Running the football... Nick Chubb was good. Chuba Hubbard was good as a both runner and catcher of the football. We'll get to him in a second. Spencer Rattler again ran the football effectively. Kendra Miller and whatnot, but it's okay. Nick Chubb was good. He's going to remain the starting running back of this team. I think we can get some trade value in Chuba Hubbard. He's 27 years old. He should be starting somewhere in the league. And I think Kendra Miller, even though he might not be as good as Chuba Hubbard in that role, can fulfill the Chuba Hubbard role. And again, we're looking to maximize our value here. Trading Will Levis and Chuba Hubbard will help us a lot. Chris Olave is the best receiver in football. I mean, the best player in football. 99 overall, 1,800 yards, 24 touchdowns, broke the single season record set by Randy Moss in 2007. Yeah, this guy's legit. Cooper Cup had another 1,000-yard season. Obviously, we traded for him mid-season from the Los Angeles Rams. But Cooper Cup's on his way out, guys. He is now down to star development, as I'll go over the, the full team later. He's an 84 overall in star, at star development. Guys, we have to move on. I know, again, when I made the trade last season, I understood that this was a one-year deal. And in the long run, we're going to lose in this trade. But I had to make the effort to get a star receiver and a game-changing receiver for this one season before he regressed in Cooper Cup. I don't regret the move. It's fine. Jackson Smith and Jake Bud needs to be more involved in the offense next season. That's going to happen when Cooper Cup is gone, obviously. JSN will easily slide into the second receiver role. Chuba Hubbard, this one I'm a little bit concerned if we get rid of Chuba Hubbard. 600 yards through the air was huge. Five touchdowns along with the 70 on the he had on the ground. A 12-touchdown season for Chuba Hubbard. Can Kendra Miller pick up that role? I don't know. We can look at other receiving backs. It's basically just what the value is in the market for Chuba Hubbard. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be all that great. If it's not great, we'll just keep Chuba. I'm fine with that. Dalvin Crosby was good as a rookie. Chubb, Hurst, Horvath, Cedric Wilson, Nikhil Harry, Kendra Miller, uh, Braden Rich, Richard, A.T. Perry, Bub Means, Jace Haynes. Uh, where did Braxton Berrios go? I, I don't know. They're, this game hates Braxton Berrios. They always release him for some reason. I've had to pick up Braxton Berrios multiple times this season just because the game randomly releases him. I'll try to get Berrios back because, again, we need our TikTok clout to keep going up. Um, anyways, Jeremy Chin has seven interceptions this season. Again, second in the NFL in interceptions. Great. And this Rakestraw had six. Demario Davis had five. Again, we need to improve our secondary, but on paper, these guys were really good. I don't know how much we can improve. Romeo Richards, a young guy who's only going to get better. Jeremy Chin was one of the best safeties in football last season. It's just once we got to the Super Bowl, he couldn't show up. I, I don't know. I think, and it's Rake Straw definitely going to be gone. You know, this guy was not very good this year for us. Oh, he's an 85, though. Guys, I'm just going to have to look through trades and see if we can improve. Because on paper, these guys are pretty decent. This one hurts. Demario Davis is normal dev. Out of respect, guys, I'm not going to get rid of Demario Davis. He will be the starting middle linebacker of this team, even though as the season starts next year, he's probably going to be like an 80 overall. Out of respect, he will be the starting middle linebacker. But 
Guys, we're going to be paying a lot of money to this guy who's just normal dev now. He went from Superstar X Factor all the way down to normal. It's ridiculous. Cameron Dicker was good as our kicker. Lou Headley, I have no problems with him being the punter of this team. Actually, I might improve. He wasn't awesome. Um, let's look at what we have in terms of the lineup as a whole. You can look at the start or the dev traits or whatnot. Again, Spencer Rattler still at star. You've got Olave and Chubb at X Factor. JSN is star. Um, Cooper Cup now our third receiver is star, which... Yeah, we got to move on. The defense, you know, some of these guys are going to... Granderson went back back down to star after moving to superstar for a little bit. But again, Brian Breesey is now a superstar. Romeo Richard is superstar. Kuli McKinstry's X-Factor. We will see where we can improve. Um, I just don't know how much better we can get. I, I mean, I think we should add another D-tackle to really improve, um, the, you know, our pass rush. But I think this team just needs time. This is a relatively young core that just needs to get better as a whole of course demario davis can be a little bit old and we should probably improve at right outside linebacker but even a guy like antoine McAllister, he was a third second round pick last season he's only 22 years old we just need a lot of these guys to just develop and again if we can target guys in free agency i will because last year we were horrible in free agency and we definitely need to pick up on that, that this year but guys look at our offensive line it's very solid all-star development guys dalvin crosby's good obviously we need to get off the nick Ch not the next not the nick Chubb, but the cooper cup contract I don't really think we're in a horrible spot here. So let's see. We're going to move on. Uh, again, the retirements, you can look at them if you want. Um, Harrison Smith retires, Shaq Mason. There's Joe Flacco from our team. Uh, Marcus Mariota, Adam Thielen, Aaron Rodgers, obviously the big one. Trent Williams retires, Kirk Cousins, Travis Kelsey, Shaq Barrett, um, Stephon Gilmore, Bakhtiari. Those are the big ones that retired this offseason. Again, doesn't really affect, affect us that much. Again, the Jets will be needing a quarterback this season. The Falcons have gone to Penix, so that's not really going to affect them within the division. And again, Joe Flacco was just a third string guy to mentor, again, the younger guys in Levis and Rattler. Okay, who's a free agent? Because I don't know if we... Oh, we have 88 million in cap. Oh, no, JSN's a free agent. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, and he's totally just not interested in resign. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just an option? Wait, what's his option? How much money is it? Is it just a million? Or is it 27 million? I'm doing it. How much money did I just pay this guy? Um, This could be bad. Hold on. How much money did I just give Jackson Smith and Jigba? Oh, I gave him 7 million. That's fine. Okay, I was making sure I didn't give him like a crazy amount of money. Yeah, we're accepting the option on Brian Breesey, obviously. We're going to accept the... Ooh, oh, Jeremy Chin's not an option. Okay, should we bring back Jeremy Chin? Oh, Hubbard's a free agent. Oh, goodness. We have some decisions to make. Okay, Demario Davis, I have to bring back, right? This guy, again, he is he is, he is is the franchise. This is perfect. Can't wait till next year. Welcome back, Demario Davis, to the team. Um, Let's get the easy ones out the way. Actually, there's not many other easy ones because these guys we don't really need back. I'll take Xander Horvath back. He was a good fullback for us. Um, welcome back, Xander. Um, believe it or not, I wanted to kill Harry back. He was very serviceable in his role. I can't really block. I give him three years. Oh. oh, man. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Alante Taylor. Eh, I could go with that. It, nice two blocks and the block kicks in the Super Bowl. Other than that, eh. Devontae Wyatt, I actually kind of want to bring back. Uh, I'll give I'll give Devonte White a two year deal. Okay, don't come back. I didn't want you anyway. Um, okay, Cedric Wilson can walk. I'm fine with that. Yeah, the rest of the guys can walk. I'll get a new punter. The one I the two I'm interested in are Chubbard and Chin. <sighs> I'll bring back Chin. And see, okay, he doesn't even want to resign. Okay, so I'm gonna give the same type of offer to Chuba Hubbard. See if he comes back. Not giving him three years though. I'll give him two. Um, and Chuba comes back. I can still trade him. That's fine. We just have flexibility now with Chuba Hubbard. The rest of these guys can walk. I'm not really, again, I'm not going to be dying to bring back Hayden Hurst. We got Nikhil Harry back. Uh, I'm fine with what we have there. We have a player me meeting here on the field before we get into free agency. Um, and of course, we're going to be making some trades. So let's see what's going on in the practice field. Why are we practicing? It's March. This, this should be the full off season, but Kool-Aid McKinstry is just on the field with us. Coach, my agent's telling me that my number one motivation should be meaningful. What's your motivation, Kool-Aid? Didn't we have this discussion with him last, you know, in the preseason last year? I hate the cold. Dog, you play in Louisiana. You play in the South. Would you change that about me? What is this? Oh, Kool-Aid, I don't want you to change. What is going on? Why is Kool-Aid McKinstry talking like a woman? Appreciate it. What is, guys, this, this is not a conversation between two men. I'm glad he's got trust with us, but this, this is not this is this is not a conversation two men just have, especially two men who are within a football program. What what is what is, what is this ESPN headline? Players coach? 
rumors players appreciation appreciate coaches player centric approach why why is spencer rattler on that he's, he's not even what is he, he, he wasn't even the cut scene deandre hopkins is a free agent do we get him to replace cooper cup i mean hey if he wants to take a team friendly deal not against it all right let's see what week one of free agency will bring we got to make trades with cooper cup potentially chuba hubbard will levis let's see who the free agents are then i'll make some trades and then come back to free agency and see we can who we can get that's intriguing but i don't know if i can do it if we have the money i'll try because dalvin crosby was good but george kittle can change our team a little bit let's go position by position we don't need a quarterback but we do need a backup um i don't know we'll get sam darnold very serviceable backup desmond ritter gardner Minshew, geno smith veteran we can bring in one of these guys i'm fine with it running backs i i kind of want to i kind of want to strike while the iron's hot in the chuba trade so maybe we bring in a zach moss we maybe we bring in a jerome ford we'll see uh receiver i get he's old but only five mil a year to be our third receiver sign me up i don't care come on down i don't care the rivalry come on down mike evans come on down oh i could get jamie oh i could jamie Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. actually if i can get jamison williams hold on there we're first if we get both of them hey, i don't care if we get, if we get both of them that's fine we'll, we'll take both we'll take both of them. we'll take both of them. we'll run four we will run four receiver sets i will find a way to run four four receiver sets if we have these guys we are making a splash in free agency, guys. Uh, Kittle, yeah, we're, our O line's completely fine. I don't like none of the, all these guys are coming back, right? Um, we need we need help in the secondary. Ooh, I can get I can get OA. We're gonna get OA. I know I was gonna I was saying, oh, I'm gonna make trades, then reevaluate this. No, these are the guys I want. I want OA. We're not his number one option. Man, that sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna chase him then. Uh, at corner, I don't want an old Darius Slay. I don't really want any of these guys. I will take Caleb Farley, though. He's very fast. He can be our third corner. I'm very fine with that. We'll see what we do with Rake Straw. But yeah, Caleb Far Farley's a guy I definitely want. My th Oh, Jeremy Chin. Do I want to bring back Chin or do... Oh, let's go Darnell Savage. Let's try Darnell Savage. Savage. It's, it's just, again, change of scenery. We'll see if he's better. Um, get Brandon Aubrey. Uh, I don't know. Punter's not important right now. I'll go out and get a Tommy Townsend later. Let me look at trades. I'm going to figure something out. I'll get back to you guys, and we'll see what we've got cooking up here um, in terms of what, who we're looking to move. But the first trade is definitely a Cooper Cup trade. Need to get that contract off the books. Okay, well, I, wow, that worked. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to get Max Melton um, from the new from the Arizona Cardinals. We're sending, of course, Cooper Cup and A.T. Perry to the Cardinals for Melton. Former Rutgers product in the secondary. He's a very capable corner. Um, if again we want to get rid of Rake Straw, Melton's solid. He can be a very good third or second corner for this football team. He's star development. I like that trade a lot. I think Max Melton helps us. And again, we got off the books with Cooper Cup. He's going to be a Cardinal now, which is kind of weird. But I'm fine with that trade. AT Perry is really not doing anything for us either. So I'm cool with that trade. See you, Cooper Cup. Have fun in Arizona. Thank you for your services. But we're, you are no longer needed in New Orleans. Okay, now we're going to look at a Will Levis trade. I'll get back to you when we get that one. All right, guys. I normally don't take the Madden trade finder trades. But guy, this one's too good. To, this one's good. too good to pass up. Will Levis for Jerome Baker? I know he's 29 years old, but still, he's a star development middle linebacker who can, again, be in that linebacking court with Demario Davis, who's getting up there in age. A fifth round pick and a seventh round pick are included as well for just Will Levis, a guy who's not going to start for us anyway. We have to take this deal. We have to. Will Levis will likely now be the starting quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks, so good for Will Levis for making a lot of deals with the NFC West, but that has to be the deal for us. And I'm very happy of what we just got right there. That's an incredible deal for us to go out and get Jerome Baker. Um, cap wise, is not great for us, but I really don't care. Again, it's we're not, you know, we we saved a lot of money going out and tr making that trade, uh, trading away Cooper Cup. And for now, I'm not going to get. Actually, I'm gonna see what Chuba Hubbard's trade value is. Actually, I'll do this with you guys. We'll see. We'll see what Chuba Hubbard's trade value is. But for now, I'm kind of fine. What we have again, we are going to improve in the, at the wide receiver position. That's that's going to happen. Our defense is looking better as well. We just need to get another defensive tackle. But again, we've got Jerome Baker now. Demario Davis should be back from injury soon. Um, and again, that'll just update on the you know on our roster as well. We should get Darnell Savage and get safety. 
you know, we're going to keep improving at corner here with uh, Caleb Farley. I think this team's really rounding out to be good. You just got to kind of give this team time and make a couple adjustments. And I think we're going to be solid. Again, we'll see how our defense plays. But we just got to make this, the right changes to this team and we will continue to get better. Again, I rake straw. I might look to move for an even better corner. So bear with me on that. But now we're going to look at Chuba Hubbard's value. So let's look at this together. Um, again, this guy was a very valuable player for us last season, but I just don't know how valuable he truly is considering it's, it, running backs in the NFL just don't hold that much weight anymore. Chuba is 27. Uh, Nick Chubb is 30 and we're paying a huge contract to him, but we're going to continue to make him the guy. And yeah, this trade value is not great for Chuba Hubbard. Now I am interested to see what is the trade value on Chuba Hubbard and Ennis Rakestraw Jr. Can we package these two guys for a very good corner in the NFL? Probably not. Christian Gonzalez. Now that's interesting. Ooh, I might take that trade. Christian Gonzalez should probably be better than just star development, but he is a very good corner in this football league. And I think this might be worth it, guys. I know it's not a crazy upgrade with Ennis Rakestraw, but we can find a running back, I think, that can do what Chuba Hubbard did for us. Christian Gonzalez is, Christian Gonzalez is 6'2", um, 93 speed. Yeah, we got to take this trade, guys. I, I know he's only star development, but we got to take this. We got to take this trade. We can, we can improve at the running back position. Welcome Christian Gonzalez to the New Orleans Saints. Again, these are the improvements necessary. Rake Straw, again, did not have that great of a season last year for us. He had picks, sure, but in the long run, he wasn't doing anything crazy for us. Christian Gonzalez is a really good guy to have, and we are going to welcome him with open arms to this football team. Now, can we get George Kittles the question? I'm going to try. I'll try to see if we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Um, okay, he does not want to come to the Saints. That's fine. Um, I think instead we go out, we get a good running back here. Let's go out and get... Do we want Jerome Ford or do we want... Derrick Henry's here, but we're definitely not getting Derrick Henry. Uh, let's get Jerome Ford. Jerome Ford, I think, really fits this team as a pass catching back. How old is he? He's 26. I can give him a three-year deal. Again, he is the Chuba Hubbard replacement. Again, Hubbard did us well. He got us a really good corner in Christian Gonzalez. Let's see what free agents we get. I made all five of my offers. We actually utilized free agency this year, unlike last year. Let's see what we get. Um, let's check in with... Okay, George Kittle goes to Steelers. That's a very weird pairing. Let's see what we get here, though. Um, let's see. My signings. We got Mike Evans. We got Jerome Ford. We got Caleb Farley. Okay, so no Jamison Williams just yet. And who else did I offer? Owe, we offered as well. Did those, those guys sign anywhere? James Williams went to the, went to the Falcons. I, I would really like the 98 speed. And now we have him in the division. That kind of sucks, but it's fine. We got Mike Evans to be the third receiver on this football team. And for Mike Evans being the third best receiver on our team, I'm happy with that. I think Owe probably signed somewhere else as well he signed with the minnesota vikings uh so we're okay honestly i think we're probably stuck playing with McAllister next season um i'm not gonna go out and get levante david obviously and then nothing i'm not gonna get jude on obviously it doesn't fit the scheme um so yeah i think we're gonna stay away from those guys i think we kind of have what we want we got caleb farley which i like oh darnell savage we're still his number one offer. So we're going to wait on Darnell Savage to see if we get him. We do need a punter. So let's go get Tommy Townsend. He's one of the better punters in the NFL. This is a pretty easy move for us. Again, we are his only offer. We should be able to get Tommy Townsend as well. Let's see what happens here um, as we move on to stage three of free agency, which is the last stage. But let's see if we get Darnell Savage. We should get Tommy Townsend. I'm not too concerned about that one. Um, let us see what we just got here. We got everyone. There we go. Those are the five guys we wanted. Evans, Townsend, Ford, Savage, Caleb Farley. Now this team again continues to improve. And I know what you're saying. Oh, we just traded away Cooper Cup, who's a veteran receiver. Well, he's not making nearly close to as little as what Mike Evans is going to be making this season. Oh, we, do, we need a backup quarterback. I'll go get that. Um, but again, he's not making nearly as much. Jerome Ford has terrible morale here. Why? Okay, okay. If Jerome Ford doesn't want to be here, Kendra Miller is going to play. I don't care. That's fine. Whatever. Dude, if, if you you got your bag and now you're not happy, go, go sit the bench. Kendra Miller will play. He's young, he's young and hungry. He wants it. I like, what? Like, what are we doing? Mike Evans only an 80 overall. I don't know why he's not happy to be here. Again, you signed here, buddy. That doesn't make sense. It's fine. Um, we do need a third tight end. I'm going to go out and get that right now. Oh, we still need a D tackle. Okay, so we need to go get 
Yeah, I like our corner. I like our corners. I really do. Darnell Savage, we'll see how he is, but you know, we'll, we'll hope, right? Um, Demario Davis starting, you know, we got Javon Baker. Okay, we need to get tight end. Um, got tight end. Uh, God, I'm blanking. Tight end quarterback and D tackle right now. Okay, let's get the quarterback. Who will be the backup quarterback of this football team? Ooh, Malik Willis. Oh, Derek Carr reunion. All right, we're gonna go get Malik Willis and Derek Carr. That's what we're gonna do. All right, Malik Willis, come on down. And Derek Carr, welcome back to the Saints. Just, just for the vibes, welcome back. Yep. All right, come on down, Derek Carr, back to the New Orleans Saints. All right, now we need a third tight end. A guy who's not as good, probably, as Hunter Henry, or not Hunter Henry, uh, as uh, Nikhil Harry. You just need a, kind of a blocking guy, a guy who can, you know, make an impact. Uh, we could go get Hayden Hurst back, but he's not interested in being on this team. So Ian Thomas out of the University of Indiana, you're interested in being interested in being this football team. You are going to be on this football team. Welcome in. And we just need a D tackle now. Um, oh, I probably could have made could have made a splash. Instead, we're gonna get one of these older guys. Um, we can go Harrison Phillips. He's kind of old, I think now, but it's fine. 30 years old, yeah. He's getting a decent contract from us, but Harrison Phillips, come on down to the New Orleans Saints. We're not his number one offer. You gotta be kidding me. All right, all right then, dude. We'll get BJ Hill at NC State. He's 30 as well. They're both older guys, but we'll get BJ Hill. All right, that's fine. Let's see what we get, but I think we're gonna get all the guys that we need at least. Um, this was a much better free agency than what we had last season. We struck out last season in free agency. Let's view the workout, but I think again, we did pretty well. We got Evans, Townsend, Ford, Harrison Phillips. Oh, we got Phillips, wow. Uh, Darnell Savage, Caleb Farley. We got BJ Hill too, Ian Thomas, Malik Willis, and Derek Carr. We got all the guys we wanted on this football team, and I'm very excited to have them around. Malik Willis should be a very good backup for this team. And again, yes, the, t the times have changed. Derek Carr's a 65 overall, and Spencer Rattler is an 84. But again, he's just the veteran mentorship role that we needed. Obviously, we shipped him off to the Philadelphia Eagles last year in the offseason. Now he's back, and again, he has his role here. Um, oh, we need a fourth receiver. Because I don't really want Bub Means to be the fourth guy. All right, we will get if we will get a receiver in free agency in terms of when the offseason happens. Going in, or sorry, going to the preseason. Um, we got the draft now. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I don't really scout just because I don't care too much about the draft. I didn't scout last year. I thought we got three really solid guys. We have a guy who's now superstar development in Romeo Richard. I don't need to see this cutscene. We got Dalvin Crosby, who's an 80 overall starting tight end for us. We got Antoine McAllister, who's a 77 overall right outside linebacker. I, we did just fine not scouting guys. And I, we should be all right here. The trades for this pick, uh, not really worth it, I don't think. Texans first and the third next year uh, no none of these are worth it we're gonna make our pick here with the 31st pick in the draft again we're back in the spot just like last year because we lost the Super Bowl but it's fine there's a very good quarterback in the class we're not gonna take that we're not gonna take him I think we go right outside linebacker um let's see who do we have scouted all the way um our CPU didn't do a great job scouting that's nice um this looks like our guy right here Cole Ro Roberson Again, Antoine McAllister has been decent, but this guy might be better than McAllister. We need a right outside linebacker. This feels like our guy out of Texas A&M, Cole Roberson. Welcome to the New Orleans Saints. He's a first round pick. Announce it, Roger Goodell. Get him out here. Welcome to New Orleans, Roberson. Yeah, get, the, get him the jersey. He follows in Dalvin Crosby's footsteps of last season being the first pick in the draft, at least for the Saints. Welcome Roberson to the team. He's ranked 39th in true value. We got him at 31. Is he hidden dev? Oh, I didn't get to see. Let's just hope. All right, let's go on to our next pick here. Um, I like the pick with Roberson, though. That, I don't think it's a bad pick at all. Um, let's look what else we got going on here. Um, free safety. We could always use free safety help. We've got a, a receiver still on the board here. Um, D tackle. We just got a couple of them. Corner, we could always use corner help. We could always use receiver help, help as well. But I don't really mind taking a free safety here either. Um, this could be a bad pick, but I might go Amari Sanders, but there's a reason probably he has dropped this far, so we're not going to go with him. Um, let's see, we got a deep threat in Dante Stanford. Again, I haven't done scouting, so I'm not going to completely know this, but he always 5'8". Oh, never mind. Uh, I'll just get Braxton Barrios back instead. Um, let's go. Let's go with Gabe McCauley out of the University of Miami at free safety. We don't need to see the cutscene again. Boom. 
ranked 80 oh wait oh, okay it's decent pick got 81st in truth and true value picked him at 63 he's got hidden dev wow 90 speed let's go gave him a call we strike again with our second round pick last year we got romeo richard in the second round we gave him a call this time in the second round i just got an eye for talent guys just got an eye for talent we have an early third round pick now i don't entirely remember what trade this was um i'm not gonna take the five uh eight guy but there's a 6-2 receiver here actually we do need a speed guy Ooh, mm, i don't know um let's see we could always use help in terms of our offensive line i'm gonna take grayson mcgee here from iowa stays a left guard the game told us he's a great fit for us 31st in true value we got him at 76 how's that only a b minus pick look at this fit dude wow what, what a guy <laughs> what a guy grayson mcgee but crazy fit and crazy value we'll take i didn't check the player profile i'll check that after the draft but again i think that was a really good pick i don't know what his dev trade is but grayson mcgee again looks like at least a very good overall guy wise guy and i think we've done a pretty good job so far in this draft we've got another pick here um they really scouted daquan battle out of arkansas so i'm going to pick him hopefully that works out well for us daquan battle not a great pick normal dev 89 speed he's nothing special at all it is what it is it's fine again now we're getting into the you know the late parts of this draft uh we have a fifth round pick here um this is our only pick of the round let's see what we can get here early fifth round um i could take a shot in a receiver honestly and that's probably what i'm gonna do i see a 6-4 receiver out here i'm probably gonna pick him just because he's 6-4 uh no 6-5 nick whitfield out of middle tennessee state let's give him a shot out of mtsu not great value he's got 88 speed for being 6-5 that's kind of that's interesting uh he could he might have a role in this team somewhere nick whitfield i don't know again in what role probably not that big of a role because i'm going to try to look to bring in a veteran receiver in the preseason um but here's our sixth round pick again these ultimately don't matter the, whoever's picked here might not even make the team unless we completely splash big here um and that's why i'm going to go with another offensive line help if I can find one, we are going to go with James Knox out of the University of Central Florida. Um, I don't know what we're going to get here out of this pick. Why is Roger Goodell? Okay, he's deep. Okay, this guy's horrible. Excuse that pick. Forget about it. Okay, just, just completely forget that we just made that pick right there. Do we have a seventh? We do. It's our only seventh round pick. It's an early seventh. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's close our eyes and pick someone. Seriously, this will be fun. Ready? Click, scroll, click. This guy. Boom. Alex Justice corner is supposed to go undrafted he's probably horrible no he's not bad well for the pick he's not bad 92 speed out of minnesota i don't mind it i actually don't mind it at all i don't i think that does it for the draft okay let's see now really what we got in this draft in terms of dev traits was our second round pick the only guy who was actually decent we will see um draft recap before we get into the preseason and we sign off for this video carl roberson was our first round pick right outside linebacker he's got hidden dev at a texas a&m like it 74 overall i think that's a really good pick i'm actually very happy with that so we got two hidden dev guys we got gabe mccauley as well he's a 73 overall 21 years old in miami again another hidden dev player and then let's see what our what our other guys are again grayson mcgee was supposed to be a really good pick he's hidden as well from iowa state 74 overall wow we had a crazy draft are we splashed with this i'll take it dude let's see what was daquan battle normal but 68 overall again not a horrible pick for the spot um nick whitfield 68 overall okay we'll take it all right dude i don't i don't think we had we had a pretty good draft all things considered that was probably the best draft we could have and i didn't scout anybody i just kind of you know i closed my eyes and picked someone I, screw screw scouting look what we just did you know i'll, I'll take it um again we're not gonna play in the preseason today we're just gonna go over our team real quick before we sign off and then we'll get into the preseason next week we will go to vegas and take on the actually and eh, we'll, we'll play the jets i think we'll play the jets next week we'll see we'll see what game we're gonna play but i want to check the free agents are there any why is brandon aubrey a free agent why is young way a free agent i don't know but there's no real free agent that steps you know that jumps off the board for me that makes me really want to go out and get one of these guys um i'm not really interested we'll look at the team before again we sign off here i think everything should be updated with our depth chart um 
And honestly, guys, I don't think this offseason could have gone better. I think we really improved everywhere. We improved on offense. We improved on defense. We are an 85 overall. But again, as this team gets going with morale or whatnot throughout the season, this team will only get better. So again, our line is still dominant. We have a 74 overall hidden development guy on our bench as well in McGee, our second round pick our third round pick, Dalvin Crosby, the starting tight end of this football team. I like what we got on offense here with Olave, the best receiver in football, Mike Evans, JSN. Um, I, oh, actually, I do need to get a veteran receiver. Let me do that real quick. I will get a veteran receiver before we get out of here. Um, I like Braxton Barrios a lot because he was our kick returner too last season. If I can go out and get our guy, Braxton Barrios, we are going to do it. He's probably fallen off a cliff at this point. Um, I get OBJ. That's interesting. Where is Braxton Barrios? There he is. 69 overall Braxton Barrios welcome back to the team but I cannot really okay I can't actually make him our fourth receiver he'll be on the team to return kicks but I need to get an actual fourth receiver I need a fast guy who's the Calvin Austin's probably the fast guy on the board isn't he Quez Watkins welcome in yep Quez Watkins welcome to the New Orleans Saints I like that pickup as well we're gonna have to cut guys obviously did I just see DeAndre Hopkins I'm always wash it doesn't matter um we will need to again We'll need to go out and make you know some cuts before the end of before the end of the preseason, but we'll get to that again in either our week one episode, probably our week one episode, or our, or our preseason video tomorrow. But again, one last look at the team before we sign off today, folks. I like this team a lot. I like what we did. Again, you look at the offensive line, all star development. Of course, you got McGee off the bench. Uh, you got Nick Chubb, who is regressing a little bit, but still not bad. Jerome Ford's morale is finally up, so we can actually be a productive football player on this team. I like our receiving core. You look at the defense. Again, we are getting a little bit older, and Demario Davis is not the starter anymore. Wow. I mean, he's regressed that much. Yeah, he can't be. But you got Roberson, of course, coming off the bench. You got R Richard. You got McCauley. And I really like what we've got going to on our front line. Granderson, Breesey, Phillips, and Foskey. And I like the Christian Gonzalez edition. You got Kool-Aid, who's an X-Factor. You got Melton as well. And Caleb Far Farley, who's got speed as our fourth corner. And you look what we got going on special teams, too. Our kick returner is battle for now. No, that's going to be Braxton Berrios. And our part returner will be Quez Watkins. Watkins and Barrios are going to be our guys in terms of returning kicks and punts for us because those are just the best guys we have I think personally um but other than that I'm really happy with the team guys uh, I just need to check a look at this take a look at the specialists here yeah Jerome Ford third down back again Nick Chubb power back that's what we want uh we want JSN on the slot yeah I really like what we got going here, folks. I think the Saints are much improved here going into 2026. And yes, I know we say it almost every episode, but or every year, but this is the team that's going to take us to the Super Bowl. I believe in the New Orleans Saints here in 2026, and I think we're going to get the job done. We have the we have a great mixture of experience with veterans and in terms of young and hungry players. I think the Saints are going to be just fine, folks, here in 2025. So, folks, 2026. So, folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you like if you did enjoy the video. And make sure to join us tomorrow to get a new look at this new, or get a first look at this new Saints team in the preseason. Folks, thank you all for watching. And Mamba, forever.